When we first found out Alyssa had leukemia, you know, you hear all the good things, you know, she's got the most common type of leukemia, like 96% of children are cured, and it's just very hard when you're that 4%. It turned out that chemotherapy drugs she'd received weren't enough to control the disease. In fact, she'd already had a bone marrow transplant previously, and unfortunately, the disease had still come back. She was running out of treatment options, so we were looking at trying to make a new treatment for her. We've taken uh, immune cells called T cells from a healthy donor, brought them to our laboratory and we've changed them so they can work against uh, types of leukaemia that are otherwise difficult to treat. I am feeling happy actually. And why are you feeling happy today? Because I have had new cells put into me. Really? Yes. Wow. Because Alyssa's leukemia hadn't responded so well to the chemotherapy and was quite aggressive. They said, you know, we were kind of talking months rather than years. So and then we found out about this trial in Great Ormond Street that was like, you know, like a lifeline. But uh, Alyssa was already really tired. You know, she'd already had all this chemo. She'd had already had a bone marrow transplant. She'd spent months in hospital. So we left the decision to Alyssa. And Alyssa is very mature. Um, she's been part of the discussions from the very beginning. In fact, I remember our very first consultation when I explained the rationale for the study. And at the end of it, I asked her, what do you think? And she told me, I'm not ready to give up. I'm very honoured um, and um, it feels good to have helped other people as well. For us, this has been very exciting because it's the first application of this new technology called base editing. And this allows us to go through the entire DNA of a cell and pick out very precise regions that we want to change in a very efficient manner. I think I'm just looking forward to us all being at home as a family again together, just doing the things that normally you take for granted, you know. Just to spend time with family and friends. Um, because I haven't been able to in such a long time.